Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with Duik Bezel 2 and After Effects. Let's get started. So, vectors from freepick.com, I will add the online link and project files. Select this background and desk layers. Let's lock layers and select this chair. Again, lock. Select this object 4, object 3, object 2 and object 1. This is elements and right mouse precoms add name elements click OK. Let's hide this elements composition and select this layer 1, go to solo and click this anchor point move to here, click selection tool and unsolo. Select this layer 11, go to solo, move to anchor point here and click selection tool, unsolo. Select this layer 111, go to solo, move to anchor point up and click selection tool. Let's unsolo and select this layer 1, pair on to layer 11, layer 11, pair on to this layer 111. Select this 111 layer, pair onto this body. Select this body, go to solo and move to anchor point down, click selection tool and unsolo. Select this nose, eyebrow, mods, eyes and pair onto this head. Let's hold control, select this head, all these face elements and click this icon, change color pink. Okay, select this head, pair onto this body and select here to go to solo. Click this icon for C background and click this anchor point. Move to down. Click selection tool on solo. Okay, and let's select this layer 6. This is right hand. Change name hand 2 and go to solo. Move to anchor point up and click selection tool on solo. Select this foot one, go to solo. And let's click this puppet pin. Add one puppet here, one here and one here. Click selection tool and change puppet engine legacy. Click OK. And select this foot two, go to solo. Let's unsolo foot one and go to puppet pin. Let's add one puppet here, one here and one here. Click selection tool, unsolo, change puppet engine legacy. Let's close. Okay, and select this here, go to solo, move to anchor point up, click selection tool and parent this here. Let's unsolo. Okay. Let's go to window and open Duik Bezel 2, click this icon and select this layer 1, layer 11 and layer 111, click auto rig IK. Ok, let's select this controller. Ok, we have problem, let's solve it. Select this layer 11, click this palm behind icon and select this anchor point, let's move to left. Click selection tool and select this controller again. Let's see. Okay, let's select this 11 layer. Go to palm behind. Let's move to left and down. Okay. Let's see. Nice. Not bad. So, let's select this foot tool. Select this puppet. Click add bones. And select this pin 3, parent pin 2, select this pin 2, parent pin 1 and select these 3 pins, puppet pins, click auto rig IK. Let's see. Ok. Nice. So let's select this foot 1, select this puppet and click add bones. Again, select this puppet pin 1, parent to this puppet pin 2, select this puppet pin 2, parent 1. Select the 3 puppets, click auto rig IK. 
Okay, let's select this controller. Nice. So let's select these puppet pin layers, foot one and these puppets, and foot two, and these hand layers. Okay, and click this icon and click this icon for hide all layers. Okay. Select this body, press R, let's see. Nice. Select this hand to pair onto this body. Let's see again. Okay, nice. So, our rig is done. We can make animation now. Let's close Duik Bezel 2 window. And select this controller. Press P. Go to here. Make new position keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe. For shortcut, you can use hold shift. Press page down in the keyboard. And move to right. Okay. Select keyframes, make easy ease. Okay. And go to again 10 keyframe. Move to up this hand. And hold shift, press air. Go to here, make rotation keyframe. Go to last keyframe, change rotation like this. And go to again 10 keyframe. Move to down and change rotation for click animation let's move to again select this rotation keyframes make easy ease. let's see okay and in this time go to three keyframe one two three move to up go to again three keyframe one two three move to down let's see Okay, select these keyframes, move to left, and this move to left. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Okay, go to last keyframe, and go to five keyframes. Make new position keyframe and rotation keyframe. Go to here, and move to back this hand, move to up, and change rotation. Let's see. Nice. So in this time, again go to 5 keyframes, make new position and rotation keyframes. Go to here. Move to again right. Okay. And go to 3 keyframes, 1, 2, 3. Make new position and rotation keyframes. Let's go to here, change rotation like this. Okay, and go to 10 keyframe, move to up this again, change rotation, and go to here, move to down, and again click. Let's see. Okay, select these keyframes, move to left, and this move to left. Nice. And go to 3 keyframe. 1, 2, 3. Move to up. And go to 3 keyframe again. 1, 2, 3. Move to down. Select these 3 keyframes. Hold Alt. Move to right. And in this time, go to 3 keyframes. Make new position and rotation. Go to 5 keyframes. And select first keyframe. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Let's see. Nice. So in this time, select these eyes, press S, click this icon, and make new scale keyframe. Go to 3 keyframe, 1, 2, 3, change scale 5, and go to 3 keyframe again, 1, 2, 3, change 100. Select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, select these three keyframes, Ctrl C and go to here, Ctrl V for random ice animations. Okay, nice. Then let's select this here, press R and make rotation keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe, change rotation like this. And let's move to here, this here. 
okay select a frames make easy ease and go to first second select this here hold shift press p make new patch in keyframe go to here move to down this here for bones effect and go to last keyframe select first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v select keyframes make easy ease let's see okay select these keyframes and let's move to here let's see nice Okay, and in this time make new rotation keyframe, go to here, change rotation and select the three keyframes, Control C, Control V, move to here. Okay, again make new rotation keyframe, go to here and change rotation like this and select these keyframes, Control C, Control V. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's select this body, press air and in this time make new rotation keyframe, go to here and change rotation like this. Okay, and in this time make new rotation keyframe, go to here and change rotation back. Select keyframes, make easy ease and go to here, make new body rotation keyframe. Go to last keyframe and change zero. Let's see. Okay, nice. And in this time, make new heat keyframe rotation. Go to here and change zero. Select the three keyframes, Control C and Control V. Okay, and in this time, make new body keyframe. Go to here, change three or minus 3 okay so in this time select this hand to press air make rotation keyframe go to here and change rotation like this make keyframes easy okay and in this time make new rotation keyframe go to here and move to left let's see okay and in this time again make new hand keyframe rotation go to here change rotation and go to here make new rotation keyframe go to last keyframe change zero let's see okay nice select this foot controller press p and in this time make new patching keyframe go to here and move to right okay go to here again this is random keyframe animations you can make your keyframes how to like you and go to here move to back again go to here make new keyframe and select first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v select keyframes and make easy ease. let's see okay not bad and in this time select this controller press p make new position keyframe and go to five keyframes move to back let's see okay and in this time make new position keyframe go to here move to right select keyframes make easy ease. let's see okay let's select this keyframe move to left okay and in this time make new patching keyframe go to here select first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v okay let's enable this elements composition and open elements go to window open animation composer 3 and open starter presets and this i will use this overshot scale select this and move to anchor point down let's click for black background click selection tool okay let's select this object 4 and click overshot scale 
let's move to right this and see okay and select these all objects click over shot and click in close animation composite and let's move to right these tier ins and select this message icon move to right and select these two objects move to right and this move to right let's see nice close elements and when this character click laptop let's move to right these elements okay and press t make opacity keyframe go to here change zero select keyframes move to left let's see and select this element elements composition control d move to right let's see okay not bad let's see nice so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck